Good morning, friends, and welcome back to a realistic day in the life work vlog as a security analyst. So I'm actually kicking off this vlog on a Monday. And yeah, Mondays are one of those days, but luckily for me, usually Mondays and Fridays are the days where I don't have too many meetings. Well, actually today I have a handful, but typically my team meetings are in the middle of the week. So, so I kind of like that because it gives me a chance to ease into the week and also look at any outstanding things that have you know popped up over the weekend and stuff like that. So I just restarted my laptop for an update and I'm just waiting for it to finish updating. We also got a bird feeder a few months ago and we recently moved it closer. So Bella is loving it. And this is Bella's seat that she sits on to, to watch the squirrelies. So I want this to be as realistic of a day as possible. So first, let's go over the calendar. Usually Mondays, I log in around nine o'clock. Well, I usually log in most days at nine o'clock. And while I typically don't really like checking my emails first thing in the morning, because that is the time when I do my best heads down work, but typically over the weekend, I just wanna make sure, you know, kind of skim through them first, just to make sure there's nothing big that I'm missing. New meetings that came in, or like, for example, one of the meetings um, that I have today at 10.30, was not on my calendar last week. So it's nice to kind of like have a glimpse at your calendar and your inbox the first thing in the morning, even if I'm not like thoroughly reading through everything. So that's first what I'm gonna do. And the other thing is working on my security tickets. So for those of you who don't know, I work as a security analyst. I feel like every company has like a different day-to-day -day role for security analysts. If you're a security analyst, you may not even have a security inbox or something for your team. You may primarily be dealing with alerts from a dashboard or something like that, or maybe you're not dealing with alerts at all. and you're looking at something completely different on a regular basis. It really depends, I feel like. So hopefully this video just gives you an idea of an example of what a typical day would look like if you're specifically someone who's interested in becoming a security analyst. But I did close out a ticket this morning when I logged in and there's still one in my queue that I'm waiting on. And sometimes that's how it is when you're dealing with work like this, where you might need input from multiple different parties or multiple different stakeholders. And those tickets may take a little bit longer to complete. And then on the other side of it, I have my long-term projects, which are typically going to go across quarters as well as my professional development for security stuff. So that in itself is really just kind of like learning different skills and tools. And right now me and my team are focusing on learning reverse engineering skills. And that is very new to me, but it was one of my goals for 2022. So I'm kind of like getting a head start on it. And by the way, if you guys are watching this in December, then you probably already know, but I'm posting one video a day for December for like a vlogsmas, but let's call it like a security marathon or something. I don't know. I don't have an official name for it. Don't quote me on that, but it's definitely gonna drive me a little bit insane this month, but hopefully it is enjoyable for you guys because I have a huge list of videos I want to make, but because the list just keeps getting bigger, I figured since I've always enjoyed watching vlogsmas, I figured I would give it a shot. And if things get really busy, then I can always stop in the middle. I'm gonna go through my mailbox and my tickets and see if there's anything new, as well as following up with all the different chats over the weekend. Um, and I'll talk to you guys after that. recently started using Luca's old headphones. So they look like this. They're the, what are these called? B and O. The Banff and Olsen or something like that. But they're relatively comfy. The reason why I don't like over ear headphones is just because of the fact that when I eat or if I'm like, yeah, chewing something basically, um, it I feel like it kind of has a pressure on the side of my head. And I don't really like the feeling it gives me because after a while it gives me a headache, especially if I have meetings for like, more than two hours at a time and I have to keep them on. So that's why I usually stick to, or I used to stick to my like string earbuds, earbuds that you guys have probably seen me use many, many times. Um, but I was having audio issues with those for a while, even though they're relatively new. I got them a few months ago. So kind of disappointing that I can't use them anymore, but maybe on the road I'll use them. Um, and then I have my AirPods that I use mostly for music if I'm like listening to something while working or I use these at the gym, um, but I primarily connect them to my phone and honestly, that's it. I only connect them to my phone. So I don't like to repair the audio and the Bluetooth over and over again. So I don't like to mix. I'm sure I could connect these to my work laptop. I just haven't, I just haven't done that. But yeah, I have a few threads that I'm following up on. Um, there's actually like this little paint night kind of event virtually that my company's doing and I might do that, but I had to order supplies and I don't think it's gonna get here on time. I don't know if I should even 
try to order this. Yeah, anyways, obviously that's not that relevant, but um, I'm also in touch with another team on a project that I'm working on and we're trying to set something up. So hopefully I can get this done by today if I schedule a call. <laughs> Drinking our daily tea of the day, jasmine, jasmine green. All right, so I just finished responding to a few like email slash messaging threads that I had over the weekend, which is really nice because it's about one of the projects I'm working on and I'm glad it's kind of gaining traction and input that I can, you know, document for future reference. Um, I think breakfast, I might make some eggs. We also got these Girl Scout cookies recently. So we got caramel delights and thin mints and we also got lemonades but these two are probably my all-time favorite i think this one was the one i like grew up eating this squirrel is literally just distracting all of her cats it's so funny it's also very cold um and by the way this is a bird feeder that we have but the squirrels love bird feeder i guess he is definitely getting ready for hibernation or something anyways i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit Hello. loaf check no tail no pause. She's doing a great job. going straight into my second one after a quick water break and after that we're gonna go get lunch so fun stuff actually i have leftovers from yesterday for lunch so i'm just gonna eat that so i'm just gonna be snacking on these while i'm sitting in all my meeting <laughs> just having lunch and I just finished all of my meetings well actually I have another one at 1 30 but that's not for another while and I feel like a lot of conversations nowadays are around the recession and things like that and how that will impact individual companies yeah I, I do think that even with everything going on like I'm sure you guys have seen articles about layoffs and hiring freezes and recessions I feel like that kind of news can definitely get to you which is why I typically don't look at the news if I don't have to um specifically if it's not around like tech or anything related to my job. Yeah, I feel like that definitely helps a lot. Otherwise, sometimes you can just end up worrying about things that may or may not happen. And I feel like that's not really beneficial to anyone, but obviously stay aware of what's going on, but I don't think you have to, you know, follow it every single day all the time. Um, otherwise it kind of just psychs you out. But of course I'm obviously in a position that is fortunate enough to not think that, oh, I have to keep up with, with the layoffs and everything that's happening in the news right now. But I do think that it helps my peace of mind a little bit, I guess. And it's hard to do your work like a normal day-to-day -day person um, on a day-to-day -day basis when you're just worrying about things like that. This is not to say that it's not a valid concern though. It's definitely a very valid concern if you're someone who is kind of going through that phase right now. But yeah, I didn't realize I'd be talking about this right now, but it was a topic during our kind of like meeting company meeting oh I, I don't think i went over my calendar but i had two meetings this morning there are company meetings and then i have a meeting at 1 30 to set up some infrastructure that reminds me i do need to set some stuff up for that before the call so that's probably what i'm gonna work on after lunch in a realistic day i usually take lunch around 12 o'clock but if i have a meeting scheduled over it then i'll take it later or earlier depending on whatever time it works best for what i'm working on but we usually don't do that much for lunch i'm either just eating leftovers from the day before or we order takeout or sometimes rarely though we'll cook we did make food yesterday um for dinner so that is definitely something um i just had some leftover empanadas and corn for lunch very well balanced and luca ordered some takeout from this nepalese place nepalese nepalese place that is nearby watching a youtube channel that's probably like the main media that i consume during the workday or in general to be honest currently watching this video by colin and samir spending 24 hours with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast as a person which is very interesting to me. So um, I like watching those kinds of videos. So I'll probably talk to you guys after lunch if something exciting happens. Um, but otherwise, this is a very typical day. I don't want to, you know, sugarcoat anything or over sensationalize because I know a lot of work vlogs I watch are really just 
80% just showing like going to micro kitchens and eating free food but obviously I'm working from home so I don't have those kinds of perks and well I guess I have a kitchen but it's not free food but I'll, what I would say about normally 20% or so of my day is spent in meetings maybe 20 to 30% of my day is spent in meetings depending on the day and then maybe about 60 to 70% is spent on doing the work work which is dealing with tickets, my long-term projects, meetings, catching up on threads, following up with people, working on random stuff that comes up throughout the week. And then the other 10%, maybe I'll spend on professional development, which is reading different cybersecurity news articles, one-on-ones with my manager. Although I could kind of just count that as meetings too, I guess. Professional development, specifically on training, since I'm studying some reverse engineering things with my team. Yeah, that is probably the extent of my day-to-week ratio of what I spend time on each thing. So hopefully that gives some insight into you what the day actually looks like because obviously if I just made a video of me sitting at my desk and my computer just typing for like hours I feel like no one would want to see that so that's why I kind of fill it in with these little talking sessions and adding some colors to the work that I do but yeah I'll talk to you guys after lunch <laughs> Oh, to be a house cat. <laughs> Alright guys, I am in the same exact spot that I last left you guys, but I did come out of my meeting and it was very nice. I set up my server and everything is good. So very excited for that. Um, I also updated my teammates on my progress on that because this is one of this is one of my major projects that I'm working on. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see so much progress in so short time because I feel like a lot of lead up to it was like months of just preparation and starting conversations and stuff like that and then actually seeing it come to life and happen is really satisfying so i'm glad that is all worked out and i am sorry that i can't go into depth about the project that i'm working on due to confidentiality reasons of course but but i will say that i think it's more responsibility than i think someone at my level would have expected to have um and i think that's also the beauty of working at a smaller company with a smaller team and also just having a really cool manager that trusts me with this kind of stuff. But yeah, anyways, that is my day so far. I'm just working on some stuff. Um, also, the cats are literally watching the squirrel to death. Literally, it's been all day. I don't even know if it's the same squirrel, but there's a squirrel like, that just keeps eating all the bird seeds. Yeah, right now it's Koji taking his round, um, taking Bella's spot on the, on the little chair. It's so funny when cats do that tongue clicking thing. Oh, there's a bird that flew by. But yeah, outside of that, I don't think there's any big updates. Um, right now it's already almost the end of the day and I can already feel the sun coming to a set which is very sad. I've never been a huge fan of the daylight savings thing but I heard it's actually going away in 2023. Uh, let me know if you guys also heard that but I think this is the last year officially that daylight savings is happening um, at least from what I've seen in articles and stuff so we might go to the gym depending on if we're doing anything else today. Uh, we're probably just gonna order food for dinner um, or we might cook, but we did buy some groceries with a bunch of vegetables, but I forgot to get a box of egg whites So I'll probably update you guys when I officially finish everything for work Granted, I do feel so accomplished after you know the feeling when you get something done and then you're kind of like savoring the moment um, That's kind of what I'm going through right now I also wrote up some documentation slash instructions for the process that I followed so that other people on my team and my teammates can go through the process and kind of test it out leave feedback Yeah, overall, I think I am pretty much good and that is the main thing that I wanted to accomplish today so I'm glad it's finally done and other than that I'll just be working on a few other smaller tickets that will roll in throughout the day. All right we're currently deciding on a place for dinner. Also opened my Thin Mints. Obviously I'm not making very healthy food choices right now. Hi right, guys we're on our way to get some kimbap and ramen and the bookie. Like okay guys, we are back from dinner. It was it was very good. We had ramen um, dobuki, which is like a spicy Korean rice cake. And then we also picked up some tiger sugar. We got this box of their egg roll stuff, which I really like so good but i think i've had enough sweets because i literally have half a box of girl scout cookies for the caramel delights and i have a box of cinnamon so 
there's no need for me to eat any more sugar at this point but that is a wrap on today overall overall a very typical work day we usually don't do that much after work especially nowadays when it's literally dark it's only about six something so yeah it's kind of crazy but i will talk to you guys next time thank you guys so much for following along with me on this day let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions or any future video topics that you might want to see from me i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m except for the month of december where i'm posting one video a day for this month and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye